my name is Ricardo Giacometti. I'm an application engineer with Keysight ESOF EDA, and I'm uh, going to show you our solution for the design of phase array antennas. So let's start by describing the, uh, the schematic here. So the first block here the synthesizes the antenna pattern. So let's take a quick look at the different parameters we have available. So first of all, you can define whether the antenna operates in RX or TX mode. And then you have the uh, different configurations that we support. So we go from classic uniform linear array to uniform rectangular, circular, and you have different variations of rectangular array and also uh, different uh, variation of, of uh, hexagonal array and then uh, to end up with a custom option which allows you to specify arbitrary location in X, Y and Z of the different radiating elements. The second step is you can define your own radiation pattern, pattern for the individu individual elements so you have the uh, you can define an isotropic element here or you can define cosine or a pattern file uh, in which case you have a choice of different EM simulators starting with uh, Keysight uh, EM Pro and you also have a couple of other options here and then you can decide whether you want to use the same radiation pattern for all elements or you want to uh, use individual um, elements or radiation patterns for each element uh, and uh, also uh, you have a custom option and uh, finally, you have the ability of rotating elements or radiation pattern for each element. And in that case, you specified the rotation around the three axes for each of the uh, radiating elements. So next up is the rest of the system. Uh, so you have the, the receiver here and the transmitter, which you can toggle using this slider here and switch from RX to TX mode. You can uh, model the amplifier um, impedance mismatch and non-linearities, for example. And then down here, you go into the, the amplitude and phase control elements. And uh, for each of these, you can define, well, for amplitude control, you can define a windowing function and uh, you can define many other parameters. I'll just go through the main ones. Uh, the quantization can define number of bits, for example. Uh, and uh, you can also define impedance input and output and, uh, uh, and other parameters. For phase control, you have similar capabilities and you can define where the beam is actually steered towards uh, in terms of angle, uh, theta, theta and phi angles. Uh, you can also define quantization uh, as uh, we previously saw. You can also define an error uh, which could be uh, deterministic or uh, uh, statistical and in this case for example you can define a uniform error between a minimum and a maximum or you can define a normal with standard deviation um, uh, error and so the purpose of this is to correctly dimension the phase and amplitude control blocks which will be at some point uh, uh, designed using circuit simulation tools so the end result of this system here is the generation of a beam pattern like you see here as so you see, is a 360-degree 3D pattern where you can actually get additional information here in terms of the, uh, the, the where the beam is oriented towards and also the, uh, the beam width, for example. You see the minus 3 dB uh, uh, bandwidth uh, at, uh, and with measurements here. And uh, this simulation is actually quite fast, so you can, uh, at this point, you can vary the number of elements by acting on this uh, slider here and you can bring the number of elements uh, for example in this case is 16 by 16 you can quickly bring it to 30 by 30 and see how the uh, beam uh, updates and, uh, and uh, shows different uh, behavior in practically real time which makes it possible statistical simulations so this is a quick summary of what system you can do uh, to help you analyze phase array antennas. Uh, there's many more capabilities, but we don't have time to cover that now. Uh, so thank you for your attention.